All right. Let's uh, now with Gale. Let's go in through here. You let me through, right? Bloody racket! Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much fun that those thieves almost got past. We got them now, eh? And once the whelps start singing, we'll know who sent them. Aye, my people pay him a visit in return. That'll be some real fun. <laughs> those thieves... Visit in return. Could it be the druids? I don't remember if they sent anybody. No, they did. I think... No, Halsin was... Halsin might, might be the, um, the thief here. We got some updates as well. Rescue Volo, that's normal. Defeat the goblins, I think we had that. Find Nightsong, we didn't. We have reached a temple that is rumored to contain Nightsong. And this is... Don't we need to... Yeah, we need to deliver Nightsong to Baldur's Gate, so it's going to be a while. Uh, and search the cellar here. Books like these can... Wait, decide what to do with the necromancy. Both? Hmm. What should we do with it? Well, I could destroy it. But I'm, I'm sort of thinking that Gale will actually have something to say to us when we sleep. I'm not going to sleep right now. But I want a little bit of peace, peace and quiet because he's clearly not feeling very good. Hey, Gale. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Mm-hmm. I'll give you one. I'm gonna give him the uh, the robes that he was wearing. It's a little bit weird, but that's just how it is. Thank you. has any effect. Oh, Mr. have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Mistra, have mercy on us all. Mistra was the, is the goddess of magic, right? But, and mercy on us all. He's got a nuclear bomb inside of him, doesn't he? Go on, you're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me, and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Wait. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? No, 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 please do share all of the things. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. As one does. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it 
is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. As one does. He almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Well, I, you could have, I, the, that is, that's a fair, the second, I mean, that's fair, that you could have just, you know, gotten her some flowers and chocolates, uh, I suppose, because that's the, the implication here. I don't know, though. It's kind of weird that he's saying it like that. Because he started off just saying he he wanted to know more. He wanted to be more. Uh, he I think he wanted to be, you know, to know all that she knew or something to that extent. But here, he's implying that the, his initial motivation was just to impress her. I guess you ruled out flowers and chocolates altogether, then? You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Oh. Oh, okay. So he's he is like a god at the moment. He is part of the weave. And that's why it, it's hungry. How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, Remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. You will die? Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Hmm. Is there nothing we can do? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Nah, I gotta tap all my head. It's, you know, we're dealing with death. And I, I was 
I mean, we started the game falling from a flying ship, and uh, I was gonna die right away, so... And besides, if we were to part ways, where would you go? Once I'd step out of the protective aura of the artifact, it wouldn't be long before the Absolute overtakes me. I'd never let that happen, so I'd aim for a swift end. I would consume some midnight tears and venture as deep into the Underdark as I possibly could. Till they cloud my eyes forever. And with a bit of luck, I'd manage to make it to a Mind Flare colony so that when the orb erupts, one loud last song of vengeance would reverberate through the dark. Wouldn't be a heroic end, but coarsely poetic enough in its justice. I care too much about you to abandon you now, Gale. We travel together. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. How could you? How could you be tired, Gale? I do enjoy our conversations. What do you need? I... was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in your story. Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral. The end of Carsus and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. Carsus's folly. He just... He, it, he's, he's just flirting with me, pronouncing things all proper and stuff. Next he'll, he'll say momentarily, but the correct way instead of, you know, the incorrect way. Uh, so, at that moment in time, all magic was gone? For a spell, Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Well, I'm not sure if it's history yet. Because, you know, people need to write about that. If you ever feel the Netherese magic overtaking you, what will you do? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. All right. I wonder what our companions have to say about that. I wonder what Withers has to say about that. We haven't talked to Withers in a while. I don't know where he is, actually. Not on this map. Either way. 
in time we'll find him. Shadowheart. Shah's blessings upon you. You want you don't want to talk about um that. That's interesting. They def she definitely wanted to talk about Karlak. Soldier. Hi. Yeah, nobody wants to talk about that. It's quite interesting. Also, Withers is not here. Here goes nothing. Unless. What is this? Unless he's here. This is where the mirror is. Fate spins along as it should. You just say fate progresses as it should because you know what's going to happen. You've played this game before. You fool. There's doors on both sides. Traveler's chest. And, uh, yeah. That. Okay. Um, well, now that he is taken care of, we should perhaps rest. But if I'm not going to be fighting anybody, at least I don't think I will. That's the plan anyway. Let's leave camp. And progress into this this den of, of a lot of goblins. Oi! Ain't no party in here. We're doing the absolute's work. State your business now. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Oh, yeah, um... Actually, I would like to know what business is here. I'm going to probe her thoughts. And it's a difficulty class 9. That's easy. We got a little bit of guidance. Let's go. Okay, we pass. We actually rolled a 3 on the guidance. Very nice. Can't be here to see the true souls. Those types don't even bother to wait. Hmm... Well, I'm here to see the true souls. Do you, uh, want to keep them waiting? Well, I didn't say that. But you'll need to be more specific, mate. Absolutes blessed us with free. You here to see Priestess Gup, Boss Ragslin, or the Drow? Well, I heard a lot about Ragslin, uh, so, you know, I'm here for him. Or her. I... I don't remember. Well, look! Big Boots here has an appointment with Draw Ragslin himself. Throne room's at the back. He's communing, mind. So step soft. What's communing? Bloody racket. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much fun that those thieves almost got... Being boozing won't make the branding go any easier. I tried. No. <laughs> I'm gonna put my torch up. I wanna see their faces better. Forgive the reception, eh, mate? Had some intruders a while back. Can't be too careful. Sure, sure. Was there a druid among these intruders, perchance? A druid? Can't be sure. Got one of them chained up below, though. Just follow the hollowing. Will do. Bloody racket. And there's a ladder up here. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Oh, Hello. So much fun. Oh, I thought you was my replacement. But no. I bet Merg has drunk herself stupid. If I see her, I'll let her know. To be less stupid. You should turn these, these things on. Look at how nice it looks. There's a wooden chest over here. I'm also... I, I'm turning them on. Just out. Oh, there's torches. I'm turning them on out of habit, really. Because secret passages. Also, is that the symbol of a saloon? I suppose it should be. Yeah, they really de redecorated the place quite thoroughly, didn't they? There's something there. It's just a mushroom. A dragon edge. A dragon edge. M Dragon egg mushroom. This ain't the party, mate. No fooling around. Get back down. This ain't the party. That's what she meant. I didn't realize that, actually. A borrow hole. No, we're not going to do that. I didn't realize that she was talking about, you know, free access to the place because there was a party going outside. And there is a party going outside. I wonder what happens if we kill them. You know. And then get in here. Will would they know? They probably would, cause the the sound. I mean, if I were designing the 
the campaign, I would have them know because the sound of the drums and the music would stop. There's a more drum there. It's good you ain't causing trouble. Boss means business. Now he's got the absolute in his ear. Mm-hmm. Oh, smell that meat sizzling. Can't tell if it's the branding or the party. Making me bloody hungry either way. Oi, so much fun. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go past the gate. I should also save. Every step of the way, we should save because we are in the lair of the... Of all the goblins. I don't think the... Oh, do you hear the absolute voice? Do you feel her inside you? What's going on? That's because she chose me. You're not worthy yet. Mm hmm. This is Oh. Hey. Look at this. That's God's mark. Yeah, I didn't see it, but... Oh, there's another. Are you ready for the absolute mark on your flesh? Yeah, and then I'll hear her voice. You're too feeble. Her voice is a blade. it will cut your brain to bits. And he's okay with that. You here to get branded too? Priestess reckons we should get marked up before the next raid. Make sure whoever we're sticking it to knows we're doing it for the absolute. What about you? How you doing? <laughs> don't pick. Don't, don't 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 throw pick up lines at me. What's the word? Hit on me. That's the word. Hey. Now here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. I assume this mark has a purpose? Shows our devotion to the Absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon. And you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself, this'll sting. Actually, I'd rather not go through with this, but I'm also thinking, when did I get touched by the Absolute? This has got to do with the Illithids. This is, I mean, it's not a very deep analysis, I don't think, but I just haven't thought too hard about it before. So bear with me, especially if you've played the game already, you know, you know, what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but I'm considering that it's possible that the illithids are involved with the absolute situation. So the absolute might just be an illithid. Or something to that extent. I say illithid, but you know, the mind flayers. They, I think they're called illithid. It, 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 that, that's, that's their name. But I say illithid because it's a cooler name than mind flayer. And also I, I tend to forget. Uh, yeah, I'd rather not go through with this. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't you? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. I'm going to push deeper into her mind. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. That's fair. Can we talk privately, though? This is a sensitive matter. Of course. Don't want this rabble interfering with true soul business. Let's go to my chapel. I'll follow you. Oi! Priestess! We like want us. the mark! Yeah. Why do they think they're talking I to a god? I'm good enough for the absolute! Interesting. If this... Absolute uses tadpoles to speak to true souls that makes them more than de 
deviant. It makes him dangerous, says Lazel. Um, I'll get the potion because I need it. And I'll leave the brand. I don't know where she went, but but it's fine. And we talked to these people already. Maybe not to you, though. Ain't polite to stare, Wormwalt. If you ain't got the guts to get branded, clear off. Why would I let anyone scar me for life? It ain't just a mark on the flesh. It's magic. Only them what follows the absolute can see it. Let us know you're on our side. That way, nobody will mess with you. Nah, nobody will mess with me either way. So, yeah, I, I wonder what benefit that is. Not my character. My character wouldn't do that. But other characters might. Tracker toes ad. If you're planning to talk to the drow, watch yourself. She's in a right mood. <laughs> watch yourself. She's in the right mood. Oh, wait. There's people screaming. This might be related to uh, what we heard about before. Yeah, there's Liam. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no, you gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Ah, here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I'm gonna read the goblin's thoughts, unless he has a... I think we're getting more accustomed to exactly how this works. If he doesn't have a, a, a tadpole, which he likely doesn't, then he can't see, detect us reading his thoughts. So, let's go ahead and do that, and besides, we have a reasonable advantage. Very nice. No, no! Why won't he speak? The drow's gonna kill me if I can't make him talk. The drow? Yeah, I'll take over, unless you want the drow to learn of your failures. We do all the work, and you get to finish him. Bah! Take him! Won't do you any good. He just... screams. I <sighs> should have sent him to Moonrise with the rest, for all the good he's beaten. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, beating it good. What? The prisoner? Oh, forget about him. There'll be more of them soon. I want to talk to this guy. I'm watching you. Spike promised that any meat that falls off is mine. All right, that sounds like a deal. I think it's the the flaying thing. Uh, pretty gruesome. You have makeshift spear. Nothing, nothing important here. We do have a jump spot right there. I am not gonna do that at the moment. I will save the game though, cause we're we're deep. We're deep in here. Hey, Liam. Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. Uh, also, we're not in Moonrise. I was going to comment on that. Apparently, this is not at all related to Moonrise Towers. And I thought I thought it was. Uh, you know, we haven't been there yet, so I'm just guessing at the moment. He knows about the Night Song. Or he could know. Uh, yeah, I'll probably pick the lock. I'm looking for a druid, uh, name of Alsin. Alsin? I... I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. P please, get me out of here. What about ni the night song? Where Do you know where it is? Somewhere underneath the temple. There's a hidden... Passage. But Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, they, they said they'd eat him. Please, please, these shackles. 
I, I don't want to die. So I suppose Brian is a dwarf, potentially. Relax, I'm, I'm not going to leave you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Be patient. I'll be back. Please, hurry. I'm not sure if I should do that right away. Because if the goblins spot that, you know, I might get in trouble. Guidance is gone. Nobody's spotting anything here? What is this place? It's just a chasm. What? What a weird thing. It may be like a different entrance or something. Okay. I think I can do this, right? Liam. Please. Get me out. Let's pick the lock here. A little bit of guidance. Easy. The lock clicks and opens. Do you need healing? Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. What did the goblins want with you? The, the grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No. They'll, they'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. Yeah, that's why I saved. Because I don't see an option here of how are you going to get out without being spotted. So I trust that the game knows what it's doing because I want to ask that question. Uh, what does the night song do exactly? I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakan would reward us if we found it. That's all. All right. Let's see. What are you going to do? Are you going to turn into a, an animal? Is that the implication? Oh, it disappeared, actually. Yeah. I don't know that that's the implication. It, it very well might be. But, more importantly... He didn't aggro anybody. And I imagine nobody's gonna aggro unless I confront them directly about what's going on. Apparently the drow is preoccupied with that. 